friends welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Hannah Renee and it's so nice to meet you and guess who's procrastinating on packing me and you're gonna be part of it so we're gonna pack and I'm gonna show you my outfits for my trip to California and without further ado let's just jump right on into this video this is the current state of packing and it's honestly just chaotic but I'm pretty much done. I told Alec I would pack for him too, and I only have one outfit so far. But don't tell him because we don't have a lot of time. And I gotta finish packing. So, let me show you the outfits that I'm gonna be wearing and why I'm gonna be wearing them. Because we do have a wedding, so there's a lot of fancier outfits in here. And here is airport outfit number one, technically. <laughs> number two is later. But these are white leggings from Offline. They have a little cutout thing and they do sell them right now in case you like them they are the crossover ones though but i love offline leggings so check them out it's gonna be the same temperature as it is here in northern california so pretty much 60s 50s all that good stuff so i have this green turtleneck from ae and then this cardigan that's from princess polly and then some ae jeans which i'll show you in a second i'm pretty much only gonna pack this one pair of jeans for the whole trip because most of the things I'm wearing are going to be fancier anyways and I don't want to take up too much space so this is my jeans that I chose and this outfit is just going to be for hanging out on Friday I might go to the mall I might work at a coffee shop I don't really have anyone that I'm trying to see on Friday so that's why I thought this would be good for that so this is outfit number one I'm going to give you a little overview ignore my socks and the leaf on the ground but here's the first fit just think it's super cute this cardigan is like the cardigan of my dreams so i love this cardigan but yeah so this is going to be the first outfit i was thinking this one for the rehearsal dinner but maybe this would be better for the wedding you let me know i am not sure so we'll see but this is an old corduroy ae dress and then i have this i think this is from h&m this black turtleneck i just don't know if it's fancy enough i don't know this is so hard if you invite me to a wedding in october probably don't because i don't know what to wear this is so hard let me show you i probably would wear the tights with it again so that i could be warmer or maybe not i don't know we'll see depends on how cold i am but i think this is cute i just don't know if this is like wedding cute you know that's why I'm thinking like rehearsal dinner. This is so difficult. This day is the day of the wedding, but I'm gonna be probably hanging out by myself, I think, when the wedding's happening. So I thought I would bring like an extra casual outfit for when I do that. Alec is in the wedding, so that's why I'll be hanging out by myself. But this is all from AE. The flannel is something we currently sell, new from AE. And then this shirt is Clarence, it's from AE too. So that's the fit, thought it was very fall, thought it was very cute and casual. Let me show you a quick overview. Here's the little overview. It's the same jeans because I don't wanna pack a lot and I'll just add a belt or something and it'll be super cute. Here is the outfit I'm gonna wear for the wedding day. This is honestly the hardest wedding to dress for. Like I don't, anything I own is probably not like fancy enough. But I thought the cheetah print was like fall and I could just put things over it to make it warm, which is what I'm trying to do with this cardigan is I'm trying to unbutton it. Cause I think the cardigan from the other outfit, I could just rewear on top of this dress. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I don't know, we'll see. But I do have tights, so that'll help at least my legs to stay warm. Let me show you an overview. Here's the overview. I think it's stupid looking. I really hope it's inside. I think it is inside, so maybe this won't matter. I don't know, that really looks dumb, but that's the best I got, so we're gonna do it. This is gonna be Sunday's outfit. I'm gonna be going to church on Sunday and then hanging out with Alex's family all day on Sunday. So I just wanted something that I'm comfortable in for a day like that, for a long social day, you know? <laughs> so I have the same jeans, as you've seen in all of the other outfits and then this old american eagle sweater from last year and it's just so comfortable that i thought it would be perfect this outfit's probably like the most simple out of all of them so like not too much going on but 
wanted to show you anyways. The airport fit is super simple, but I am bringing two pairs of leggings for the airport days because I don't know if this is just me, but anytime that I'm on an airplane wearing my leggings, I just get so sweaty in between my thighs. I know it's TMI, but it's just the truth. So I'm bringing two pairs because one I need for there and one I need for coming back. So this hoodie is from American Eagle. It's brand new. So if you want it, shop the link in the description. And then the leggings, which I'll show you right now. These are the Airy crossover leggings. Literally my favorite leggings of all time. I do want to get more colors, but I wear them like probably once a week. Like they're the best. Here's the current status of the suitcase. We are packed to the brim. All of Alex's stuff is laid out because he wants to approve <laughs> the outfits I picked for him. So he'll be here later to prove those. And now I need toiletries and makeup and all of that. So I'll show you what makeup I'm bringing for these fancier things. Alex's packing game is on a different level, truly. He's putting all these putting outfits, outfits together, together and then rolling, rolling them up. up. Rolling it up so that way I just pull out the outfit. It might be a little big and it might be wrinkled, but that's okay. We can deal with that later. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my that's god. That's like two days worth of clothes. I just I mean to each their own. To Would me you, to me my own. To do whatever you want is fine. I'm not doing it that way. To me, my but own. This is all of my like accessory and hair tool things. That's super dirty. These boots are from super, super old Tillies. So don't even ask about them. They're like Probably 10 years old, TBH. I have my curling iron, a blow dryer, hairbrush, makeup wipes. There's so much extra things you have to pack when you're going to a wedding versus if you're just like hanging out. This little packing thing is so funny to me. Why, isn't it great? <laughs> just how excited you are about it is the funniest part. I'm maximizing space, I'm trying to save money. You I should do it to mine then. I got three bundles and that's like most of my stuff. <laughs> I'm killing it. Time to pack the makeup. My makeup bag is from Target. And let's get started. First, I'm going to do some eyebrow pencils. I'm going to bring my backup one because I don't know how long this one's going to last. They're from NYX, by the way. Then I'll bring my eyebrow gel from Essence. Then after that, we'd go to eyes. I think, honestly might bring the modern renaissance palette i normally would bring my tarte palette but i feel like for a wedding i want to go a little bit more glam so we're gonna bring her also for the eyes while we're at it i'm gonna bring my milani black eyeliner see if i want to attempt a black eyeliner while i'm there and then for mascara i'll bring my eyelash curler and then i'll do the milk makeup kush mascara so good love her for my primer this is my go-to it's the one heck of a blot prime primer from soap and glory for foundation this is tough i honestly think i bought this and haven't used it yet but it's the it cosmetics uh cc cream and I bought it in a lighter shade, hoping that it would match me. Then for concealer, we'll bring the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. And I got my sponges for those two. And then for powder, I'm going to do the Glossier Wilder. For bronzer, I'm going to do my favorite bronzer, which is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. And I'll do my favorite blush. Yeah, I'll do my favorite blush. It's the Tarte Amazonian Clay in Party. And I think for highlighter, I'm going to do the Becca Champagne Pop highlighter. And then the last and most important thing is lips. So I'm going to bring some chapstick. I might keep this with me, actually. And then my go-to lipstick is the Lip Lingerie in Bedtime Flirt. And then I'm going to bring a gloss. I just actually bought this from Target. <laughs> it's the... What, what brand is this? I think it's the Blossom uh, lip gloss with flowers in it. And I think that will be it. Here's the last little bit of stuff I'm taking. 
jewelry in this bag. It's not the best method, but it's what we have. A charger, a pin, a mask. I have more elsewhere. An allergy pill. Just one, though. For cats. And then a prayer journal. Some cards for the people that are letting us stay with them or borrow their cars. My empty water bottle. Blue light glasses, snacks, camera charger. Um, this is my laptop case with my laptop charger and external hard drive and the laptop. And that's it. And that's the end. Yay. <coughs> Thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me because I love to do those for you. And I'll see you guys next time whenever that is. Bye!